Welcome to this new playlist. In this one, I'll be talking about a surface triangulation as a facade system. And this messing is the one that we're going to cover the facade. And it's a good follow up exercise to build upon what we've learned on the previous playlist about list management. So let's see what we are going to do or how we are going to do. So this is my Rhino screen. This is a messing, as you know, this is my super screen one thing you may think uh, or wonder why these faces are orange because i put them in that setting as the back face of each object in this case surfaces are going to be painted into uh orange so if you turn this off turn it on you can select your own color to see this surface in this case which is the front which is the back face all right so what I'll be doing first is obviously create a surface in between this curves. These are all, uh, by the way, these are all pre-modeled, so you can access them in the exercise files. I'll put this guy in here as well. And what I'll be doing is basically I'll be just lofting this, these two curves and I'll be creating my surface to be worked on. And the next thing what, I'm, what I'll be doing is I'll be basically creating a subdivision of this surface. And to do so, what I'll do is I go to math first, domain and divide domain. You may remember from the previous exercises, this is our domain to divide. Like in this case, our surface is our domain to divide. And let's start with, I don't know, like 20 by 12. I mean, we can change the values based on how we like it. And then we can go to surface. And under util, we should have ISO trim. And this is my surface and this is my domain. So if I preview this off, now what I'll be doing is basically the fine tuning of these surfaces because you see now I am having this like going up and down and so on and so forth like larger, smaller and the reason that it's caused like this because the number of control points that I'm having here is different than the upper curve and lower curve and their level of um, their level of curvature is different so what we can do here is we can say okay i just don't want to have like i want to keep this as i don't know 12 but this can be 20 or even like or even more okay it's completely up to you so basically this is sort of a super simple triangulation that we are using here and what we can say i mean it's completely again up to you how you deal with this you can select the larger ones smaller ones that's completely up to you and then the next thing that i'll be doing is basically trying to understand how we are going to triangulate these geometries to triangulate these geometries what i'll be doing is i'll be creating a deconstruct b wrap Putting this B wrap in, B wrap in other words is the boundary representation, right? And boundary representation, when we deconstruct it, it gives us the faces, the surfaces, edges, edges, and the vertices as my points. And from like this point on, what I'll be doing is I'll be showing you how to proceed or how we'll be using this. But it's, it's a good time to stop this video. And in the next one, I'll be talking about how we really start triangulating this, but showing you the logic rather than just going in and finishing the exercise.